comes back home with the payoff. And the bottom falls out again. One, two, three, first inning for Nathan Avaldi. Match 20 runs over the last two games of the championship series. Oh. Carter, right center field. That's going to split the gap and hit off the wall. Seager read it well. He heads for the plate. And it's Evan Carter, 21 years old, starting the scoring in the World Series. Allen to Garcia with a 3 1 pitch. Yeah. Line drive, base hit left field. Carter can fly. He heads home. It's 2 0 Texas. I would say he was locked in. Very controlled, short to the ball. We've seen him big, get really big with his swings. There's a breaking ball right down the middle. See what he goes to on 3 2. It is back to a fastball like a house by the side of the road. Walker takes strike three. Wow. That happens. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Third consecutive K for Avaldi. Home with another 0 2. Strikes out the side. Another 0 2 Young, and is a good. Here it comes. Carroll swats a ball to center field. Tavares won't get there, and it gets by him. And buckle up. The speed of Carroll on his way to third. He's tied the game with a two run triple. Digs that one out, holds it to first, Lowe comes home, and he's saved from the Diamondbacks' lead. Heim says, I don't know about that, but as the call is now, it's 3-2 to two Arizona. I thought he had zero chance. When we get a look at how Carroll goes about his lead and momentum, watch this. Here's the one-two, there goes Marte, swing and a miss, throw from Heim, is off line, and a stolen base for Marte. On this inning, you got a triple, you got a stolen base, you got a sacrifice. And Arizona's got another man in scoring position, and America's just scored a free taco. You can see another big jump and a rare swing and miss from Moreno. That's two strikeouts out of him for the powerful Walker. And it's swung out and miss. He finished him off with a splitter. He's swinging and established himself. He has one of the top pitchers in the league the last couple of years. Got one inside here, but swung over it. Tries again. To tie the game. Rangers are hoping it's too late. Fly to center field, but no big deal for Corbin Carroll. It's a two out rally for the Rangers to tie this game at three. Keown limits the damage to one. Oh, here's a shot to left field by Pham. It's way back there, and Tommy Pham puts the D backs in front. Speaking of the supplemental with the long ball, it's a leadoff shot here in the fourth for Pham, and it's 4-3 Arizona. It has not been a great overall postseason for Pham, but he's had a couple big home runs, and this one puts him in front in game one of the World Series. Everybody on these teams can bounce back, meaning they have the ability to climb back in the game. Here's a 2-2, and there is strike three on a generous outside corner from D.J. Rayburn. Damage to one. Got him to chase. Two out. See if he gets one to let it fly. 3-2. Fires it into the ground for strike three. Eighth K for Avaldi. One gone in the fifth. Uh, there's two up from Avaldi. Golfs one into right center field. Tavares on the move. It's on his head and off the wall. Marte's hitting streak extended. Lead extended. It's 5-3. Fam gave Arizona the lead with a leadoff home run last inning. It's a big bouncer right side. This won't be an easy play. Lowe recovering Dunningham just in time. Race to the bag, and Dunning and Lowe make it happen. Carter's worked it to 2-2, and now swings and fouls it into the glove for strike three. Hot shot to short. Perdomo's there. How about Zach Gallen finding it tonight? Going 1-2-3 here in the fifth. Daniel Lowe. It's a high drive to deep right field. Carroll's going back on the track. He's got room. He just missed it. Two on, two out. And a one-two from Thompson. Tavares pops it up. Left side. Will it stay in play? Moreno's got it. And Thompson puts up a zero in the six. It is 0-2 to Walker. It is swung out and miss. And Walker struck out for the third time tonight. Another 2-2 from Gray. Got a chase from Fair. Two back. There he goes. Here it comes. Thomas down on strikes. On this 1-1 pitch. Breaks his bat on a roll to left side. Perdomo's got it. Over the first. The inning is over. Kevin Ginkle gets out of the jam. Longoria's down on three pitches. John Gray, last four outs have all been strikeouts. Puts this one on a line to right field. Garcia's back. A leap and a catch. Randy 
Rangers fans, 12 years after game six, are saying, that looks a little more like it. Going back, making the play. Passing those seatbelts to the bottom of the ninth. Could tie it with one swing. High drive! It's tied! Corey Seager has tied the game in the ninth. Great player in Corey Seager, so much invested in him, and it's a no-doubter. On an 0-2, Garcia oh, got hit. Got hit by an 0-2 pitch. Now this one rode in and catches him on the top of the hand, and you just hope, you just hope that that doesn't knock him out for any time, because that is the worst place to get hit. Three pitches, he gets him and finishes off the ninth inning. This is a guy who's been punishing mistakes lately. Got this fastball by him. Two gone in the top of the tenth. On this 2-0, Seager runs one to second. Marte's got it on the first and on to the eleventh. Out of the one-two pitch. And a strikeout on that slider. Dolis Garcia sends on the other way. That sends Carroll back. He's at the wall. And the legend grows! Adolis Garcia wins game one! Twelve years to the day that game six became synonymous with heartbreak. Game one becomes synonymous with Adolis Garcia. The Rangers tie it in the ninth on a Seager home run. They win it in the 11th. And of course, it was Adolis. One swing and they're dancing around, but it was all about that hit by pitch the time before. You wondered if that was gonna have anything to do with his swinging the bat. It wasn't. And he went to right field. That's how strong he is. He took a low sinking pitch and hit it like a left-handed pull hitter. And what a moment, and what a comeback win for the Rangers. He's fouled off a few to stay alive, waits for another 2-2, two -two and chases strike three. That's where teams have gone. Top 10 in wins. He's home with a 1-2, and he strikes him out with a cutter to the knees. Out of the bottom of your lineup. Whew, man. Nice strike three called, and Kelly rocks and fires an 0-2. He throws another changeup, and it's a good one to get a swing and a miss. Coming inside, that's where the target is set for this 3-2. And Moreno hits it in the air to left center field. Tavares and Carter on the move. That ball is gone! Gabriel Moreno hits it out, and the Diamondbacks strike first in game two. Now the eighth pitch of the at-bat, the latest in a postseason full of big swings for him. One to nothing, and now it's Walker down the line gets robbed by a diving stop from Josh Young. Oh, what a play. And for Christian Walker, when it rains, it pours. That's hooked into left field. Guriel with a base hit. Here comes Fan. Here comes Carter still. It's cut off. Go back to first, not in time. Two to nothing, Diamondbacks. That's hooked to deep left field, and Mitch Garver has gotten the Rangers on the board. Garver's third home run of the postseason, and the steady vet keeps flying under the radar, but contributing in a big way for Texas. Sixth inning with two outs, have no strikeouts. Here's the throw to second, and Pham, what is he doing? Picked off. Puts a sour note on this sparkling offensive night nice for Tommy Pham, taking the bat out of Alec Thomas's hands. And ending the top of the six. How many people were excited about the Braves and the Twins facing off? It wound up being an all-timer. They know when they can go. Seager chases a fastball for the Diamondbacks. His one-two. Carter ah! can't lay off, and Merrill Kelly strikes out the side in the sixth inning. The one-zero. -oh. Longoria hits it by Young into left field. Thomas heads for the plate, and they get the insurance. Three to one, Arizona. Evan Longoria, the veteran, sneaks it by Young at third. Carroll shoots a base hit the other way. Longoria is headed for the plate. He'll score without a throw, and Corbin Carroll has tapped on. Diamondbacks up four to one.
Another 2-2 is perfect to the outside corner. Deep breath and a 3-2 pitch from Merrill Kelly. Seven minutes and an innings. Grounds one through, base hit center field. Hitting streak extended and lead extended. The throw from Tavares, not in time. A two-out, two-run single from Cattell Marte. Oh guy. Yeah, now it's Carroll smacking the ball by Simeon into right field. Perdomo heads home. Garcia's throw, not in time. And they keep on rolling with two out. Backhand stab for Domo. Walker able to get there. That's it until they go 60 minutes. Ground ball, base hit left field. And Emmanuel Rivera adds to this bottom of the lineup dominance in this game, driving in two. He's hung up between first and second, but doesn't care about it one bit. Seven of the nine Arizona runs have come with two out, and most of it has come from the bottom of the lineup. 2-2. Two -two. Shot to third and caught. Rivera's got it, and game two goes to the Diamondbacks in a resounding way, 9-1 to one, to tie the series up. Sliders to the right center field. That's a base hit. Stopped at third as Walker runs through the stop sign. Garcia guns him down. Tony Perez-Chica giving a clear stop sign to Christian Walker, who just barreled through it. And one of the best arms in baseball makes him pay. Yeah, I stopped looking at him when I saw the stop sign. I really did. He just saw the waving and he never looked back up. And it's too late at that point. The one two is a nasty sinker to get him swinging. Under a third, two out, two one. Lifted the left center field. Thomas on the move, not going to get there. Marcus Simeon finally comes through with a base hit to left center field. Rangers strike first in game three. Corey Seager smashes a ball down the line. Goodbye. Three to nothing, Texas. Second of the World Series for Corey Seager. And boy, his home runs get out in a hurry. He hasn't seen a ton of pitches to hit, but the ones he's seen, they're not getting back. Took a first pitch changeup and hammered it. Fog delivers one, two. Garcia swings and misses at the high fastball. And he's home with a 1-2 to Longoria. Got him swinging. Got a chase. One of the best sliders he's thrown. Well, we got a big story here in Phoenix. This is Scherzer getting ready to come out to throw his warm-up pitches just a minute ago. And how in the world is he even going to step onto the field? We went out there and started to try and warm up. And then the training staff and Bruce Bochy said, no, this ain't happening. Yeah, it looked like, you know, I know the ball that got hit off of his back wasn't the contributing factor. But I'm telling you right now, the way he was acting with his lower back, assuming that's exactly what was going on, and just knowing mannerisms of a pitcher, you know he's frustrated. Frustrated, but he did the right thing. Gabby Moreno swings and misses. Nasty one there. And another one, two from Fox. Got it. He's got that slider working. Got him with a high fastball. How about John Gray? Two out. That is off Simeon's glove. Bill Glover thought that he had it and then looked down as if to say, why have you deserted me? And a two-out base runner for Arizona when they were desperate for some life. And for a minute, I thought it broke his glove. But it was hit so hard. And this ball had serious spin and velocity to it. That is a hit, Johnny, and it extends the hitting streak to a record-setting 19 games to open his postseason career. Throwing strikes. Guriel swings out of his shoes there. Uncharacteristic at bat shot. Pitch. Swings and misses, and Spores gets out of it. Here's a high drive to center field by Garcia, who's rinsing as he goes up along first. As we expected after seeing Rodas Garcia, or Adolis Garcia struggle going down to first, Travis Jankowski has replaced him in right field. Adolis Garcia left the game with left side tightness. He was sort of doubled over in the tunnel. So they've lost Scherzer in this game, and now Garcia leaves the game. Now the nine-hitter for Domo. Two-one pitch. Smacks one on the ground. Seeger gets there out of his glove to second. In time at first. A double play. And Bruce Bochy can't help but crack a little smile there. The one-two from LeClerc. Finishes off a one-two.
two, three, nine. And what a Texas turnaround here in game three. From losing nine to one in game two to winning three to one and retaking the lead in the series. On the eighth pitch, Simeon grounds one left side. Perdomo with the backhand play. The defense in this fall classic sparkling on both sides. Well, another day, another hit for Cattell Marte, whose hitting streak is now 20 in the postseason. The best ever. Give him three to four innings. That's a strikeout of Carroll for the first out. Swings through it. Back-to-back -back Ks for Heaney. There he goes. The pitch is high. The throw by Heim is a little high. The tag, he's out at second base. Jonah got rid of that quickly and threw a dart to second, and Marte flings his helmet almost all the way to third base. On a 2-2, Tavares takes a change in the dirt, kicks away. Play at the plate, what happened? Young's in to score. Rangers strike first in game four. Two on, two out, a one-two pitch. Simeon pulls one down the line, hooking fair into the corner. Tavares in to score. Jankowski in as well as it kicks away. Simeon's on his way to third. He's in there. Marcus Simeon for the second game in a row comes through, and it's 3 to nothing, Texas. Now Seeger to right center field. Way back there. And gone again. Corey Seeger does it again. His third hit of this World Series is his third home run of this World Series. No one's going to face a reliever more than once, right? But you're going to see a reliever more than once in these games. The more the hitters see the relievers in a series, the better it gets for the hitters. Hitters get the advantage. And now Jankowski who singled in his first World Series at bat. Into center field, Jankowski comes through again. Kicks away from Thomas. Two runs are in. A two-run double from the guy getting his shot. Travis Jankowski making his World Series debut in place of the injured Garcia. And now Simeon crushes a ball back to left field. Gurry out of the wall. Goodbye! It is a route in game four. Marcus Simeon came into the game with three RBIs this postseason. He's got five in three innings tonight. And they do it again with two outs. Back-to-back, -back, five run innings. All ten runs with two out. This 3-2 to Mitch Garber is cut on a miss. 3-2 to Tommy Pham he right is there. taken for strike three. Lifted the other way. Jankowski drifts back. Going to get one of them in. Here comes Moreno. Arizona's on the board. It's 10-1. A sacrifice fly from Lourdes Gurriel. Outside corner to get him. Two away. Chase is up here. That is back-to-back -back Ks against him. Well, boy, I tell you what, Texas has not missed a beat. Swinging strike three. Series over 12. High fly ball to deep right field. Jonah Himes' first hit of the World Series is a home run. And it's 11-1 Texas. Third of the postseason for Holly. So the third home run of this game for the Rangers. Out homering Arizona in this series, 7-2. to two. And the clerk got it. Give that ball to Jonah. Nice keepsake. Yeah, and then they have found it. Another payoff. Fan shoots it to right field, right at Jankowski. Carroll's going to come in to score, and it's 11-2. to two. Sacrifice fly for Fan. And now Guriel, first and third, two out. Guriel hits this ball hard, deep left field, it is gone! Well, this place has been waiting two days to explode, and Guriel gives him a reason to here. It's 11 to 5 in the eighth. I'm telling you, this crowd, they may not get a win out of this, but it's amazing. Stuck with their team. Ground ball, base hit center field. Moreno drives in two against LeClerc. It's 11-7 as they've scored six in a row. Hot fly, foul ground. That is caught by low. And that does it for game four. An explosion for the Rangers. A couple of five-run innings. And the Texas Rangers are one win away from their first world championship.
That's what makes him special. Zach Gallen's got a one, two, three, first. On this zone one, he hits it hard. Seeger is short with a backhand play, goes to second. One, two. Curveball disappears. And Longoria yanks the line, drive the left field, then Carter comes on to get. Evan Carter takes a hit away from Longoria. Another 2 2 pitch. Walker's down on strikes. And pulls the first one, left side. Diving stop for Dumbo. Heck of a play. And Walker. The payoff. Oh, Got out of it again with a fastball to the corner. Two. Golfs it. Deep left center field. Gurry out of the gap. Oh, he's got it. Over the shoulder. Low at first. Two out. The all star catcher, Jonah Heim, on a one two. Chases strike three. Zach Gallen has fired five no hit innings in the World Series. One two pitch. Oh. In there for strike three. Bouncing ball up the middle. Seeger's there. His throw is in time. And Houdini's gotten out of another. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Six shutout in the books. Evaldi deals. And gets a chase on another splitter. Comes a one-two pitch for Dahl. <laughs> Takes strike three. Nathan Evaldi with the hardest fought six scoreless innings you'll see. The one-two pitch. Ground ball, base hit left field. Of course it's Corey Seager. It is always Seager. Breaks up the no-hitter to start the seventh. 21-year-old rookie, Evan Carter. Pulls one into right center field, and it's back-to-back -back hits. Cut off by Carroll. Seager to third, Carter to second. He's in with a double. The dam breaks here in the seventh. On an 0-1. Grounds one through. Texas takes the lead. Seager's in to score. Carter stopped at third. And after six innings without a hit, three in a row here in the seventh. Garber at first. 0-2 to the rookie, Josh Young. Tied him up with a fastball. One away. And that probably is it. What an unbelievable job, even though he's on the wrong end of a 1-0 game. Zach Gallen in an elimination game. Take a bow. On the trigger right here. First and third, one gone, seventh inning. Two one pitch. Oh! Drop on first. Walker coming home with it. And they've got Carter hung up. Moreno runs him back. Now Longoria chasing him down. It's Ginkle to get Carter. A little pickle here in the World Series. In the second out of the seventh. Fastball is hit way up there. Moreno's got room, and that's the inning. His 2-1 pitch. Walker lines it to center field. Tavares is there. Comes back to strike him out. Cracked his bat. Roll it short. Perdomo's there. Kevin Ginkle's out of the bases loaded jam. Here's the payoff. Fans down on strikes. Paven Smith. Have the offense show up. And this is going to be the clincher. Hot shot in the center field. Three consecutive hits in the ninth. The ball gets by. It's all the way to the track. It goes all the way to the wall and two runs score. Heim to third. It's three to nothing, Texas. And then right there, he took his eyes just off of it. Thought he had it in the glove. And he just misses. Under at third, two out. Here's an 0-1 to Simeon. In the air to left center field. Guriel's back. It is gone! Texas on the verge! It's a four spot. It would be a fitting final touch to this run for the Rangers. Well, they've collectively, they've got up off the mat every punch, every scenario. They've been relentless. One, two. Strike three and one gone in the ninth. Carroll pops it up. Heim is back behind the plate. He's got it. And once again, the Rangers are one out away. It's happened. The Texas Rangers win the World Series.
straight up 8 o'clock in the Mountain Standard Time Zone, 11 o'clock on the East Coast, 10 o'clock back home in Texas. Josh Spores wraps it up, and the Rangers are your World Series champions. Can you believe it? Wow. May the ghosts of 2011 be forever erased.